Hello and welcome back to our channel. Today we're diving into an unexpectedly fascinating topic. The evolution of the running shoe. From ancient barefoot Greeks to modern day sneakerheads. So, let's lace up and get started. The running shoe, unlike any other footwear, is designed not just to protect and support the foot, but to enhance our natural ability to run. It's a subject that's been under a microscope recently, as more and more people embrace running for health and leisure. And boy, has this shoe evolved over the last 15 years. Running as a sport can trace its roots back to ancient Greece, where athletes competed barefoot and often. Well, let's just say clothing optional. The Romans took things a step further, equipping their messengers with thin-soled sandals. Fast forward a bit and we find the development of shoemaking. Leather, due to its durability, became the material of choice. But the concept of shoes designed specifically for running didn't emerge until 1852 when a race featuring spiked sole shoes was recorded. Now, behold the ancestor of our modern sneaker. The first all-purpose athletic shoe was designed in 1900, primarily made of canvas with a rubber rim, courtesy of Charles Goodyear's discovery of vulcanized rubber. It offered a new level of cushioning, but unfortunately, it wasn't durable enough to stick around. Leather made a comeback, but it wasn't perfect either. Enter Old Man Richings, who invented a customized shoe with a seamless toe box to minimize chafing. In 1925, two German brothers, Adolf and Rudolf Dassler, took the stage. They gave us arch support, speed lacing, and the brands Adidas and Puma, which you may have heard of. As time went on, we saw further innovations from companies like Hyde Athletic and Japanese brand. Tiger, who introduced the world to a traditional Japanese-style running shoe. The 1960s saw a shift in focus, with companies like New Balance examining the impact of running on the foot. This led to orthopedic running shoes with shock, absorbing features. Fast forward to now, where demand has driven the evolution of the running shoe towards lightweight, supportive designs. And nylon, a World War I invention, has replaced the heavier materials of yesteryears. Today, running shoes are not just for runners. They've become the go to footwear for anyone seeking comfort. In fact, you might even spot them on office workers commuting to work. In 1990, consumers spent a whopping $645 million on 15 million pairs of running shoes, with most people buying them for their comfort rather than for running. Now, that's a testament to how far the humble running shoe has come. So, next time you slip on your favorite pair of running shoes, take a moment to appreciate the centuries of innovation and craftsmanship that went into making them what they are today. Whether you're a dedicated marathoner or just someone who values a good, comfortable shoe, we've all got a part in the ongoing story of the running shoe. Now it's your turn to hit the pavement, or the treadmill, or just the walk to work. Thanks for tuning in, and don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more deep dives into everyday objects. Remember, there's always more to the story than meets the eye. Until next time, stay curious and keep running.